Hey, hey, hey! Oh God, oh God, oh God, run away first. Run away. And come back in like a mouse. Oh, 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 it's a mistake! Oh, stop touching my phone! Somebody keep on touching my phone. Oh. What's up guys, this is David here and welcome to another Mobile Legend gameplay video. Today we'll be featuring Karina, the Night Elf Bounty Hunter. According to the bio on Mobile Legend official website, she's the strongest among all of the Night Elves. Well, why would you introduce the second best into the game anyways? So let's get into her build. First, let's talk about Emblem and Battle Spell. I like to go with Magic Assassin and Retribution. For Magic Assassin, it offers so much magic penetration, which is exactly what Karina needs. And also for Retribution, the reason for that is for you to get to level 4 as fast as possible. Usually, if you carry Retribution, you will be the fastest to get to level 4 in the game, which gives you your ult, which gives you so much map presence and so much gank potential. So let's get to the core, the item build path. Personally, I like to build Eternal Scepter on her first, because it offers so much sustain as well as amazing magic power. It's 110 to be exact after 5 minutes you acquire this item. Then, we like to go to Magic Penetration Boots immediately for the mobility as well as Magic Penetration. Then we want to go to Standard Calamity Scythe for the amazing burst damage, followed up by more Magic Penetration items like Astral One and Flame of Fury. Last but not the least, we finish the build up with Blood Wings, which offer the highest magic power a single item can offer in this game. So let's get into her gameplay. In the beginning of the game, I always like to get Hunter's Knife first, because it offers you not only 20% damage to the monsters, it also offers you 20% more experience in jungle. This is give you so much lead over everybody else, even including your teammates. So you always like to get this to make sure that you get to level 4 as fast as possible. So here you see Clint walking to the bush not knowing that we're hiding in there. So we're just gonna murder his ass very easily. And the trick was Karina's first skill. It allows you to go into the elusiveness for 3 seconds which makes you immune to all physical attacks including tower shots. And while you're in that state of elusiveness, you can actually cast your other skills without breaking out of it unless you auto attack. So you can wait until the 3 seconds is almost up before you use your auto attack to break out of the state because this allows you to quickly use your first skill again which you will see me use quite a bit in this game. Here we wanted to gank top, but we somehow saw Alucard in our jungle, taking our blue. I was like, okay, it's time to kill Alucard then. So we come back in, and our standard combo is, you sometimes want to initiate with your ult, but in this case, you don't have to. You first want to fight him with your first and second skill to get him low, and then use your ult to finish it up, like what, I, what you just see. So here you see we use our ult to initiate the game, initiate the fight, and we didn't see the opportunity to kill the Jow there, so we decided to retrieve and go back to farming. So we're going to fast forward, we see the opportunity again, we come back in. And here you see we slow down, there's a little bit of lag there, but we see them both low. And with Karina, you can dive tower very easily. So we're just going to wait here and see the opportunity arises because you can see there, Clint is trying to go back. And Jao is very scared to come in because he knows I have all. So we're just going to farm this jungle camp. And BAM! He's dead. And BAM! Jao is almost dead as well. So now we we'll kill Jao. See, we can use our first skill and wait for the second skill to come, come off cooldown and use it without actually breaking out of elusiveness. So we we'll kill both of them without taking too much tower damage. Now we'll just go back to farm. And with Karina, you always want to be farming. You want to gank in between your farm where your number one job is actually farming. You know, that may sound a little con controversial to a lot of players, but that's just how I do it. So uh, in between farm, you always want to come gank. So in this situation, you can see we're in elusiveness and we don't actually use auto attack to break out of it. So tower doesn't do too much damage to us. And you can see because we use elusiveness in the very last second, we quickly ha can are able to cast it again. So we didn't die there, right? But that's actually pretty pro. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going back to farm once again. And we're going to quickly forward this part of the gameplay 
So we see the opportunity to gank, and we're coming top again. Now we'll wait a little bit for Clint to get low before we actually go in. And before we're going to tower, we're actually going to elusiveness without auto attacking, like I said, because if you break, if you auto attack, like what you just see, you break out of the state and the tower is able to hit you, you can die pretty easily. Because Karina is really, really squishy like any other assassins. So after the gank, we have to go back and go back to farm. And we're gonna quickly forward this part. And we saw we saw their fight breaking off in the bottom. That means more gold for us. But we saw Jaw coming in and we decided to troll a little bit before we retrieve and go back to farm. But we see Jaw on the map actually decided to go fight our Layla. So we didn't want to go too far away. We stay close. And we see another uh, support Nana coming in. And Nana decided to somehow go close to our tower, which it's pretty interesting decision to be honest and w and like I said Karina is one of the best tower divers because of your first skill so there we go oh wonderful take just misses ult but it's okay though everybody makes mistakes and in our gameplay we want to be happy to everybody we want to be nice to everybody we don't want to blame them for small mistakes here we see Clint with full HP which is a waste of time for us to jump in and, and to try to hit him so we're just gonna farm the farm the lane and come back and get some turtle soup for the team. And you always want to get turtle because it's such a great farmer, a jungle farmer. You get turtle, you give team experience, gold. And here you see I try to fight the card because we're to defend the tower, but the tower is already dead. And you want to stay in elusiveness for as long as possible to avoid his auto attacks, to break out a skill, you break out the state, you hit him with your skill, and you go back in immediately. So Alucard doesn't do damage to you at all. You're actually a counter to Alucard to be honest with you. Because he, his lifesteal means nothing to you. Means nothing when he can't even hit you. Which is awesome. With Karina, you always want to look at the minimap. You always want to know what's going on. In this case, I saw on the minimap that Nana is standing alone there, standing in the middle lane. So we decided to come to the middle lane. And sure enough, we got the kill. So after a little bit farm, we'll go back to mid because we see action breaking and we got a kill there. And you want a snowball like that. And you don't, you never want to go in when everybody's full, right? Because that's, you just can't do that. You just can't kill people when everybody's full. Maybe late game with your ADC because you will see in this game, we can just murder their ADC with a couple skills with our combos. But not in the early games. So you want to wait for team fight to break out and you want to let them fight for a little bit and let them assume that you know they are fighting the enemy alone, fighting our teammates alone. But then you jump in like a boss and get the kill. So now we'll go back to farm and we see team fight breaking in the middle and we'll come in to take the kill. You see Alucard can do nothing to me, which is all because I go into the state of elusiveness with my first skill and he's like, uh, what the fuck? I can't hit him. What the fuck? Anyhow, team fight break off. And we see where low Clint stand in the middle. We're gonna get the kill. We use all to finish the Jow. And Alucard has had to chase us. But we're in a state of looseness. There's nothing he can do. When our skill come off cooldown, and bam, you use our combo, he's dead. Right? What I the the standard combo with him with a Karina, like I explained, is use your all first because your all does the most damage to get them to as low as possible. So you can use the most out of your passive. You can see here how we murder Clint with his full HP. You initiate with your ult, you go you use your first skill to initiate off course to go in so you can get the, the movement speed boost and use your ult, use your second skill, auto attack to break it out, use your other skills to finish them off. Very easy. And you always want to do that with enemy team ADCs when they're farming alone, which they will do. They will do a lot in any game, right? You want to find scenarios like that so you can get them behind a little bit and get yourself ahead way ahead way way ahead like, very badly ahead like what the president would say anyhow so now you see we go back to farm and we see team five breaking in the middle so we'll quickly finish the farm and come to mid we use our combo and we see we cannot do too much because there's so many people following us and this is the thing with Karina you don't want to get super greedy right you want to get greedy but not super greedy we see so many CC coming in, and Karina is especially 
afraid, or vulnerable to any CCs because we carried retribution as our battle skill to get ahead, right? So we don't have any, we don't have purify, we don't have any getaway skills except for our first skill, which we just used. So we want to be super careful. You don't want to die, right? You'd rather not lose the kill than die. So here we see team fight breaking in the middle, and we're waiting to see if they fight first, and we just go in to clean up people. So you can see so many people chasing our Tigro from the small map there, and we didn't know Jao was in that bush. We want to kill the ADC, but then Jao uses skill on us. And here we initiate, we use our skills, and boom! Our ADC clean up all the kills, right? Here we see Nana, we go in, Nana turn us into Lulu Raccoon, we run away, and we come back with our ult. But our ADC got a kill again. And Alora really knows how to play, because he almost killed me there, right? Unfortunately, Alora wasn't attacking us, otherwise, it would be a, a, a dead night elf, right? You don't want to be a dead night elf. And here we finish the first inhibitor turret, and we go back because we're super low. But we don't go back to, to base, we actually go back to farm. Get more tower, but we find out their entire enemy team is there. So nothing we can do, we just had to go home. At this point of the game, we already sold our jungle item and bought, bought our last item, right? I see a lot of people actually sell their boots as well to get more magic damage. I don't do that. I like mobility. They, people will argue Karina runs pretty fast already with her, with her first skill. I like mobility, but it's really up to you though. Depending on the game, you can have some fun, do whatever you want. So here we see that we see they got a lord, and they're pushing mid, and we see their ADC, and boom, they get behind the line, kill their ADC, murder them, right? They just get deleted from the game, and they delete the rest of the team. So we're about to kill Nana, but boom, our ADC steal the kill like a boss, right? And this is what happens. You want to be generous with your kills, and let your team get some kills, because at this point we have gotten 20 kills and zero death. And here we get a little cocky, so we decided to fast forward this scene um, so people don't see it. But anyhow, um, you don't want to get too cocky with Karina, like I said. We roam around the tower with our first skill, knowing that we won't get hit by the tower. But unfortunately, Zhao coming in with his, with his poke, uh, with his flip, and we just died. Like a dog on the street. We just said, anyhow. So we're chasing the Nana, nothing we can do. Go back, go back. But there's. At this point, this is really, really, you shouldn't be really be farming in the jungle because you already have your full build and you sold everything. So your objective is actually maybe get buff to get more cooldown reduction and just go back to lane immediately. You want to be getting objective all the time. You want to stop farming uh, because there is really no point. Anyhow, nothing we can do actually at the bottom because Alucard went back. So we decided to stay in the jungle a little bit, wait for everybody to come in. And the team fight is about to break off. And as you, as you can see, in the, the team fight is about to come, that we're gonna stay way in the back, observing the team fight first before before we commit. Because once we commit, um, it's really hard to get out because we don't have purify. <laughs> we don't have any other battle, battle spell besides our first skill to get out or get in the fight. So here you see our two girl make a mistake, stay in the front, get flipped, by the jaw and get combo CC'd, he become useless. But we try to stay close to the fight and we saw their ADC alone, both of them, and boom, they're dead like that. And we just finished the rest of them. Anyhow, that's game. GG well played. Subscribe if you like our content and want to see more as we will be uploading daily videos like this and other type of entertaining videos with our live stream and so on. Comment in the section below to let us know what champion you like to see being featured next, and I will consider all of your suggestions seriously. Also, remember to check out our live stream with the link listed below. We live stream with our viewers daily from 6 o'clock p.m. to 9:30 p.m. Central Standard Time. With that, thanks again for watching us. This is your daily Mobile Legends streamer, David, and I will see you in our next video.